Hey guys, do you know what day is it tomorrow? Tomorrow is Chinese New Year's Eve. And do you know what we do in Chinese New Year's Eve? We eat a lot. And uh, now is 10 p.m. the day before New Year's Eve. I just came back down to the kitchen because I want to prepare some food for tomorrow. So tomorrow I don't have to cook too much, it's too much effort. Do you know what we eat in Chinese New Year's Eve? First, we eat this. It's uh, lechuga in Spanish. And it's uh, lettuce in English, I think. And do you know why we eat lettuce? It's because lettuce in, in Chinese pronounce uh, 生菜, so 菜, do you know do you know the phrase we usually say in Chinese New Year, 恭喜发财, which uh, is 恭喜发财 in in Mandarin, and 菜, and this 生菜, it's like a similar meaning, like a similar pronunciation, and uh, it means money basically. So we love money. So let lettuce is one thing and then we also have uh, shrimps so uh, I just prepare shrimps because I have to defrost it so I can cook tomorrow and shrimps do you know why shrimps like I, I don't know if they have it in, in in north of China but because I'm from the south and I'm Cantonese so shrimps in Cantonese pronounce ha and we think about it when you eat shrimps, when you eat ha on New Year's Day, so the whole year, you'll be like ha 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 ha, laughing basically. So, yeah, you will be laughing the whole year. And then that's um, fish. I also um, got it from the freezer so I can defrost it for tomorrow. Uh, Fish is a common thing, so every, everyone in China is fish in New Year because fish in Chinese pronounced yu and yu basically it's the same pronunciation like as leftovers like so you eat fish in New Year's Eve and then you you always have things left over for the next year to begin with the new year so yeah and then um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prepare some dumplings as well. Dumplings is not a really Cantonese thing, but most of China we do dumplings. We eat dumplings on New Year's Eve. Uh, basically, it just implies, you know, a family get together. And so I'm going to make some dumplings now. So it's going to be ready for tomorrow. For dumplings, there's a lot of ways to fold the dumplings um, and the mix as well. But today I'm not going to, I mean, I already bought the skins, so I don't have to do everything by myself. So I just got the skins and um, I made the filling myself. And yeah, um, just wanted to show you guys how I make dumplings. So you take the skin and put a bit of filling in. Just like that. And then you will have to prepare some water. So just just a dip in water and the skin will fold together. Just dip some of the water and then slightly spread it on the side of the skin. And there's many ways to fold it. I mean, personally, um, I always use the um, folded one side and then leave the other side flat way, which I'm going to show you now. So basically, you hold it here and then you do the patterns like this but only do it on one side and then press down 
and then press down and then press down down and down and then you got this which is one side has the pattern and then the other side flat and of course if you're lazy you can just um, fold the two sides together stick the two sides together which is also um, a typical way that people do I'm going to show you now So basically, you just squeeze two sides together. Like that. So both sides are flat. Or you can just make up your own way. As long as the filling doesn't go out, then it's a tumbling. And so now I'm going to do 20 of them. Okay, you guys, this is ready. I just spent two hours cooking them. And well, we have six dishes here, one rice and one soup. Do you know why it's six? 
because six is a good number in Chinese. Uh, so we have the soup, we have the three color rice, we have the dumplings, that is the enoki mushroom with uh, beef wrapped around. And that's the shrimps I told you about last night. That's shredded chicken, that's the fish, and lettuce. And of course, we have our lucky mandarin and the bomato. So, all these dishes you can find on my book called What We Eat in China. It's available on Amazon worldwide. So, if you like any of these dishes, get my book and let's start eating. So, Happy New Year's for tomorrow. And tomorrow I have a surprise for you guys. Um, we have a video talking about the 12 Chinese zodiac signs. So, don't forget, sign up to my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.